Gender-based violence is five times higher in South Africa than the global average, with South Africa having the fourth highest female interpersonal violence death, death rate out of 183 countries listed by the World Health Organization. President Cyril Ramaphosa mentioned in his 2020 speech that GBV has become a second pandemic after GBV cases kept increasing during the lockdown period of the COVID-19 pandemic. The question is, will it ever end? Good evening, my name is Zola Shalwana. Welcome to this edition of Sweater Today. Tonight we discuss ways in which we can fight the scourge of gender-based violence especially in our townships and joining us in studio is Mr. Tabang Maloyi from Soweto Parliament. Mr. Maloyi, uh, welcome to Soweto today and thank you for joining us. Thank you, man. I'm welcome. welcome. Now, uh, there's some victims <coughs> of um, gender-based violence who do not actually know that they are being uh, abused due to lack of awareness. What is gender-based violence? Uh, what I can, you know, in a nutshell, just to tell you, it's an... Um, what I can say to Karaki when I go just a fresh figure, get a fresh album. Me, yeah. Wow. How do I put it for now? It's like <clears throat> I wouldn't say exactly, but me feel like even that there are men who are being abused by women. Mm -hmm. You understand that? So when we say gender, it's just that we think we must say it both. You understand that because of yes, and Ali, yeah, but yeah, but mama, it's increasingly mm -hmm. so as as I've seen now recently what has happened now mm -hmm. because of I have so many stories since I go so to Parliament. Mm -hmm. And then I've received so many, I mean, 52 groups around Soweto. Mm -hmm. So I've received, you know, every time I'll receive a call to say, Ubaba wins the local, Umama wins the local, mm -hmm. you understand, Umdana wins the local, you understand. Mm -hmm. Women, men, mm -hmm. all of us, you understand. Mm -hmm. But it's just mm -hmm. an educational thing that we should mostly talk about because of, as I'm speaking to you now, a lot mm -hmm. is happening. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so now tell me, um, you know, at first you said, uh, and then you changed and said also men are being abused. I just want to find out when a man approaches you and says they're being abused by the wife or their woman, how do you receive the, you know, the, do, do you treat it the same way? Because I believe mostly women are the ones that are being abused, but also men are also being abused, but silently they don't speak out because of the stigma and what is said. How do you then uh, treat such cases? <laughs> As a man, I will tell you, I will be, so I will be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I was once myself being abused, but I never reported it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. by a woman, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, how do you start telling another man that mm -hmm. how, how do you say that? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Because I can't, because of men, mm -hmm. not because of my status or thing and stuff. It's that what I, I am, do you understand? I will never raise my hand. Uh, <coughs> you understand mm -hmm. that, yeah. So men are being abused, let me tell you something, mm -hmm. verbally and mm -hmm. physically so sometimes, you understand. Mm -hmm. I do a wrong thing and then I will go shower and get my and stuff. Mm -hmm. When I clap, I, am, I would never go to a police station and say, I'm going to clap like when I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to and arrest me, but for me, no, Baba. Trust me, I'm telling you, even now myself, even when a man comes to me and say, mm -hmm. hey, I've been abused to poor mama, mm -hmm. I, I, I 20 before I could mm -hmm. react, mm -hmm. you know, I would ask him so many questions, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when it's a man, it's a kind of a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, you can, but it's there, let me tell you something, it's mm -hmm. there. But don't you think that should change, you know, um, society and also maybe leaders, uh, including the police? You know, when a man reports, it shouldn't be a thing that is questioned. Uguti, why ushaya umfaz? Let it be a thing of it's, it's it's urgent. It's a matter of urgency. Let's attend to it. What, what what what? How do you think you can change that so that we normalize? Uguti, uh, na they do get hit and abused by 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 women. Let it not be a case of they have to undergo through a lot of questioning before you believe that he's being abused. Let me tell you something. To be honest, so mm -hmm. uh, let's go. It, this is Africanism. Mm -hmm. You understand? It, 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 it's Africanized. Mm -hmm. If a man would come out of and say in front of other men, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. And then let me say, for instance, they look at the man and they look at the wife mm -hmm. or the, the girlfriend, whoever, and then they see the structures, they will say, ah, we are If they are one fast, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and stuff. I mean, there is this thing in Africanism, uh, in daughter, in daughter. Mm -hmm. um, um, we understand. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, I grew up myself. Let mm -hmm. me tell you something. I grew up, my, my father we used to beat my mom mm -hmm. more than anything. I, I, mm -hmm. Many a times. I would see my father doing that. I mean, those things, they are not the info. 
Mm. You understand? Mm. Baba will show my mom in Vogue. You understand? Mm -hmm. And then into being born, but much, but sing cooling born. Hey, my dad was a real abuse. But mm -hmm. you know, that's how much I'm going to say. It comes that from the good, I that, that Africanism culture that we had. Good, mm -hmm. uh, um, father, um, I shower in daughter, I want mm -hmm. I shower, I want and then go to the die card. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, 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 those are statements that makes us not to mm -hmm. take each other 50-50 uh, uh, so or, mm -hmm. or equally so, let me say. Now, I want us to look at the statistics. A lot of people call South Africa as a destination of femicide because of what is happening. There are a lot of women that are killed on a daily. What do you think causes that? A, a lot. I can tell you there is a lot that is happening presently in South Africa. Let me tell you something because mm -hmm. of this thing. This thing. Uh, yeah, undocumented foreigners and stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. everybody is flocking to South Africa now. Mm -hmm. So everything. I mean, yesterday I was even talking about then today. You could, I mean, the COVID it only started in South Africa before it can flew up in Africa, Central Africa and stuff. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because of this, the environment that has been going now recently in mm -hmm. South Africa. That would, uh, uh, in population population growth in South Africa is too big. We understand mm -hmm. so that is why it's happening like this in South Africa. I mm -hmm. can answer you in that manner shortly, so to say. These things are happening because of that thing. Let's come and good manage everything in like South Africa. There is no lessness in South Africa now recently. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You go to a police station and report, but uh, like for instance, there was this a case mm -hmm. in Thomas and I knew when last mm -hmm. the, the, the girl went to the police station and the Baba Chenut Mabakuru, remember Baba Pilamu by Kuruma, the Kama Baba Figent, you are coming to Mazana Ebula. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if at all law abiding citizens and then the police who are abandoned, they would have just arrested the guy. Mm -hmm. I actually want us to get to the issue of the police, but obviously after the break, because mm -hmm. there's a role that they really need to play in this. You know, when you look at the statistics and also what has been happening, it doesn't seem like the issue is being solved. But let us actually go to a quick ad break. South Africa, which also is known as a destination of femicide, as I mentioned, because more than 2,700 women have been murdered as a result of GBB, G, GBV, rather since the year 2000. Men also become victims, yet they mo mostly do not take serious when they report. After the air break, we'll shine the light on the reasons why men are not taken seriously and more. Make sure that you don't go anywhere. Welcome back. You're still watching Soda Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. If you've just tuned in, we are unpacking the ongoing gender-based violence. And we're still with our guest, Mr. Tabang Muloy from Soweto Parliament. And he is a representative. Now, continuing with the conversation, we spoke about the police earlier um, and the role that they play in this. Um, statistics prove that there are about 50 rape cases that are reported to police stations every day. And you actually mentioned a scenario where a lady went to report and they said, Hambanyo Lungs is in Dwendlin. And she was actually killed how do we then solve such issues you know it amazes me honestly mm -hmm. as a community leader for instance <clears throat> mm -hmm. for me i mean let, let me tell you i'm not a policeman but if somebody comes to report a case that hey number one by Allah, do you understand i'll just take the woman and put in inside my house and say mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. because of i'm trying to protect this because of i know good it can get worse i mean for instance me and I, an ordinary citizen mm -hmm. but a policeman went to school who knows the laws and everything mm -hmm. how can you really say that do you understand to say no the man looks and being told and you'll come back it doesn't work mm -hmm. i mean they they if they come to a police station simply means there is some criminality that is mm -hmm. happening. Do you mm -hmm. understand? Mm -hmm. Then it simply means what these people are not good to stick together for today. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Separate them, then you'll sit the other time. Mm -hmm. We'll hear from the other one. Not you telling them to say, go back home, Lulu I mean, it's something else that I mm -hmm. I mean, and I had a case again whereby somebody yesterday told me that a certain policeman who arrested me, that policeman, and, and he was arrested. Mm. For raping a, 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 mm. a, a woman who came to repeat the case mm. at the Muraga police station, do you understand mm -hmm. such things? So I'm having, I hear these cases almost every time. Do you understand mm -hmm. that? Yeah, but there are police people who are trying. Let me tell mm. you something. Like for instance, where I come from in, in Pimville District, mm. there is a brigade Lloyd, we, we, which we, we, I mean, what uh, so Parliament has done is that we want to bring back that thing of. 
the community and the police, they must work together on, in order to solve cases. No, mm -hmm. let it be easier for them to understand. Yeah, yeah. Because of in most cases now, recently you can see, I mean, if you, we can't only say, we want to blame the Lord, the Lord, the Lord. I mean, what is happening, we have seen it when Kagaluti, you mm. know, police were in Jablani Mall was being looted mm -hmm. for almost the whole day. There were no police people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So even in crimes like this, sometimes you be attended, sometimes you're not attended. Mm -hmm. Now, um, <coughs> earlier on the first segment, you said that um, Africanism says Indo Daikali, which is something that is totally wrong. Yeah. How do you then, as the leaders of Soweto Parliament and also some co community leaders, um, make sure that you change that narrative? Because I believe what is destroying society is believing that Indo Daikali or Indo Dagmalangi Kali. And you know, that starts by normalizing that statement. And then it gets to a point where now people just laugh at a man who's crying out for help. What are the steps or, or measures that you've taken to make sure that you actually raise that saying I mean, for instance, the first step is by coming here. Mm -hmm. This is a national TV mm -hmm. whereby everybody can see what we're going to talk about. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. We're trying to show men good. The statement of saying Indo is totally wrong. Mm -hmm. It starts with me. I cry. I'm telling you, my sister, I cry. I lost my son through drugs. He killed himself. I cried. Mm -hmm. You understand? When I'm hurt, I cry. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I show it publicly. I, I don't hide. Do you understand? I, even if you, if, if you can, let me say, when well, a physical I mean, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to keep it inside because of these things of then you mm -hmm. take in everything. That's when you see when a man explodes. He does a wrong thing that will shock everybody. Say, how? Mm -hmm. is in danger, do you understand? Mm -hmm. uh, because of his that you would into the Aikal. Mm -hmm. He's not healed. He he was angry and stuff, so he piles up. Mm -hmm. He becomes a bomb. When he comes out he uh, uh, yeah, 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 to say Majin Dota Aikal now he's acting, mm -hmm. he will do a wrong thing. You understand? Mm -hmm. That is why we encourage people that to, we are there. Mm -hmm. My phone, mina, mina, for instance, phone number, I'm mean, I'm mean, mm -hmm. I'm there for the people that any problem that you encounter, men or women, at any given time, I will never say, hey, um, for, No, mm -hmm. I will talk, I will sit down and talk to you. Mm -hmm. Make sure that I listen to you, I give you that attention. Because mm -hmm. I know one thing, every problem needs attention. Mm -hmm. If I'm giving appropriate attention, good mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Also, the other day, I, I found a son at Ubabake Ubulewe, one man, and he's got a gun in himself. He wants to go and revenge that. I had to talk, and he was crying. And I had to talk to him and said, cry, boy, you are right to cry. Yeah. Yeah. But don't act. Do you mm -hmm. understand? Because when you act, it says this is in doses after. Do mm -hmm. you understand? So, so that I, 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 we are trying to do that. By coming here, we're trying to show people good. the statements of Indo Dai Kali. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry totally to say, wrong. but that's rubbish. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But Indo Dai Kali, because mm -hmm. of Indo Dai Kali, my actions. Mm -hmm. He explodes it, do wrong things. But you know, he didn't deserve to be back because he has been stomaching. Mm -hmm. So, Bambe won't go Bambe and Pagat, Magazo Puman up, unless the Babes isn't for their selfish interest. You understand? Yeah. 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 I, I want you to, to, mm -hmm. to tell me as a community leader, are there any maybe support groups that you have? you know, established to make sure that men are given a platform to voice out about their crimes. Because like you said, they become very dangerous when someone bottles up something and then don't talk about, especially something that's very deep, yes. you know, that tempers with their emotions. It gets to a point, this is not to justify gender-based violence or what men do towards women, yes. but it gets to a point where now they, they, they act in a very, they, they do the most uh, dangerous things. Yeah. Well, the most, okay, they can even kill someone. Yes. So what are you doing as Soweto Parliament to make I, sure that you establish these small groups so that these women, these men, rather, are given a platform to actually voice out their cries so that you can also be able to find out if someone is being abused and they've been silent about You know, it. one step that we have done now presently, we are partnering with the Tsukhovalu Pule Foundation mm -hmm. that we, we, we're trying to have some programs with them mm -hmm. because of the amen in that uh, foundation that mm -hmm. we said that we can move these pro uh, programs mm -hmm. so that it, wherever we are, they must be there for us to, you know, mm -hmm. try to give education to men who tell whenever you're facing such a problem because of, I, I, for instance, I'm a community leader, I, I go through a lot of problems that I go, but there are some that the people who are professionally that mm -hmm. can deal with it, to understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why we adopted the Tsukhovazo Pule Foundation. Mm -hmm. Let's work together in order to, 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 to do this, to understand? Mm -hmm. To work on this thing, we will teach gender-based violence, how can they help? Because Obona, they know better than us, to understand? Mm -hmm. But as leaders, Tinage, from Soweto Parliament, we are trying to be there at mm -hmm. all costs. We, we don't want to be leaders that uh, you, you see them on TV. Mm -hmm. We are always on the ground, mm -hmm. to understand? 
what, what I'm going to talk, talk, talk to you about the women that I have and stuff, mm -hmm. I went there personal to mm -hmm. check what is it true, it mm -hmm. happened, you know, I don't want to talk about stats. Yeah, 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 do you understand? We, we don't want to talk about stats, no. We are there on the ground, we want to be there and show it, mm -hmm. always. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. That is what I would love, I mean, uh, for me to be here, I'm mm -hmm. very much happy because of these things that uh, we see mm -hmm. daily that are happening there. Mm -hmm. We are going to be here, in most cases, to report on them. Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's, it's good. I mean, it's good hearing that, you know, you have actually taken it upon yourself, you know, to lead the community and not just be a leader from afar where people can't yes. really reach you. But we're going to have to take um, a short breather. And after the ad break, we will talk about possible solutions to this matter. We will see you right after this. Welcome back. You're still watching Soda today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. Now we have reached the last segment of the show and we are still talking about gender-based violence in our townships. Mr. Molloy from Soweto Parliament, thank you for um, staying with us. Now, uh, we know that there are campaigns that were formed to address um, the second pandemic, which is gender-based violence, according to uh, President Sir Ramaphosa. There's Tarofazo Foundation, like you mentioned earlier on, that helps victims. Why is it important for members of the public to be part of such campaigns? I mean, why is it important? It's because of this way they can voice out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Do you understand? If for Saba Kuluma na I mean, recent Akfana Kala. Kala, you'd go to Makiran and tell Makiran in Dabazako, but now recent what happens, what do you tell her or her? Mm -hmm. Later, <clears throat> those problems you are telling him, as we understand, or mm -hmm. her. Now, these foundations, they know. You understand they've been trained Do you understand mm -hmm. that if, if i talk to you if it has to be a secret it has to be a secret and then how to deal with that you know to cancel you in terms of business people must they must make sure that they get the numbers of those such uh, uh, programs as far as but i'm organizing for now they must get their numbers and talk to them you understand mm -hmm. with almost everything drugs mm -hmm. related or whatsoever go because they have the professional counseling that mm -hmm. uh, you know what hurts me most sister one before let me just go out of your window Mm -hmm. uh, in Soweto, now recently, in Soweto, mm -hmm. I can talk to you in, in a space from August till now, mm -hmm. we have lost six women and children. Mm -hmm. And Snake Park, a four-year-old was stabbed by his father, mm -hmm. you know, having a fight in the end of the four-year-old. Yeah, a four-year-old. Mm -hmm. The father is attending the case now. The father is attending the case now. あの、そして、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
mm -hmm. so that you can go to help. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they let it be so. Bazi. Then to go to the Makama, so as point nice, I don't get to see better English and stuff. You understand? Foundation in air. In Tanga, never bar, in the Tiakar. Simple. Mm -hmm. Let it be so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's what we need. And so that men can go to those organizations. Mm -hmm. For now, they have been, you know, spontaneized. The reason is because English. They have um, men from African, what, 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 what. Men like what? No. So I'm not talking about So, but come, if you can put in the what I'm telling you, see, when I say to you, in the Akal, you can even laugh. But it, 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 what is this? Let yeah, me go for it. Do you understand? And like men's forum, uh, what, what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have any words of encouragement specifically to men um, to say that it's okay to speak up? It's, it's okay to say you are being abused. It's okay to say you've had enough. It's okay to say you've been bottling things up for the longest time and you feel like, you know, you need help. Honestly speaking, let me tell you, men, men I'm here and for any problem, more especially when I'm a daughter. Mm -hmm. They understand that you say, mm -hmm. guys, let's come. Yes, I have, I have, I have friends. Mm -hmm. We are four of us, I'm a homies. They're not friends, actually, they're homies. Mm -hmm. Since I was young. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they know me. They know me. I tell him, man. If you come to New Zong Chenang, you spend money, 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 you spend I don't uh, 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 speak behind uh, it, because of, that's one of the things. You can see the same instead of you spend money. You understand? Mm -hmm. So if that can be, you can I'm a daughter. Mm -hmm. We can always, if it is not a yens into sickle or mutum chain, please come to me whenever mm -hmm. you have a problem. Mm -hmm. I will try to help as, mm -hmm. as much as I can. That's why you show me to me now for me. I would like to say with buyers with the from so to parliament, we are there for them. Mm -hmm. You understand? Umut magan a problem as with a gang for one or two. Once can yeah, we we have we have a moment. We are next best spending a ma poisa. Like today we saw muti. Kuno koko kuna maji mchele na kuma na wakanisho una hundred baka tu kumi victim ni ni midolens a hundred year old woman baka tu kumi victim midolens if pengine scooter before ngi zana I would have started to scooter ngai alap you understand but yeah so this is what we want to do we want everything to be visible so that not as leaders as we will be visible since ngaba malizas afunu ba ama position mongas just because of afunu no be is but on the ground since aban at any given time umya wakut so that if boys are malu chele malu chele wakut last week bengla last week bengla wala that's why we we don't, so the parliament, we don't like talking about our stats. Mm. We understand. We talk about what we saw. What you know. What we know. Now, um, let, let's talk about the people that are mostly affected by these actions, you know, families. I'm, I'm just thinking about Tsova Zobule's family right now and the family of the lady that was jogging in the morning. Well, what do we say to those no, people? You know, let me say, Kodamanja, I have a, a, a link to that. I must go to go Sandra. Lower supported over on Friday. Um, don't ask mm -hmm. I must go to their family to talk to them so that we must go to talk to that police, uh, police, uh, police officer who's handling the case. But why can't they speed up the case? But mm the -hmm. since I mm -hmm. cast the incident on the today, so these families they, they call to show you, they, they, they tell you, we need your help. Can you please? Come with us to the police station because policemen are not taking us serious. This case, they take it very light. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I mean, for instance, I mean, they, uh, in, 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 let, let us look at that guy, lower secretary, EFF, mm -hmm. two minutes within a week and stuff, those people were found. You understand? Now, this guy was, why? This thing. Mm -hmm. Even to the mm -hmm. So tell me, don't talk to the Mumbos and Okonamans. Men are now a Safan as a band, feel the very same thing. I mean, you're about to confront us, you're about to do something, but you're about to do something. Hey, I'm a police, I'm a police, I'm a No, there are good policemen out there. Mm -hmm. Not all police are injured. But as what your, your question, you're about to talk to the Mumbos and I mean, Leo, you, how how do you go to talk about about Velele in the phone and all that? You go to Google and Google and Google. There's nothing mm -hmm. you can do because who will there? We, we are not. So, so what to do? So to hide, to do the kind of stuff. But it hurts. Let me tell you something. I lost the son. I know how to do somebody. It Mr. feels Malloy, like. Mr. Maloy, thank you so much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can see that you're really passionate about this, and I appreciate the fact that we still have people like you in in Parliament. People who are just not leaders, you know, by name. People that actually want to be around, you know, people so that people can be able to reach them. You know, I think that's what we need, you know, in our societies. That was Mr. Tabang Maloy from Soweto Parliament.
talking to us about the ongoing gender-based violence. Well, that's how we wrap up today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you, so please feel free to engage with us about the show by simply sending us an email on Soweto Today at sowetotv.co.za. Alternatively, you can contact us on 011-933-3000. From myself and the rest of the team, we will see you on the next news bulletin that's coming right after this. So, goodbye for now.